All right, in this video, I'm going to create a macro to add a column. So essentially, I'll, I'm going to create a macro that will add a new column, and I'll attach that macro to a button. So after this, I'll be able to click the button to add that new column. So the easiest way to do this is to actually record a macro. So to record a macro, you can see this button down here. It says no macros are currently re recording. Click to begin recording a new macro. And once I start recording, this will turn into a square button. And I have to click on this very spot to stop recording the macro. So now I just need to name my macro. Let's call it... column okay so now I'm recording I would like to insert here every time that I insert a column with the macro I want it to be right here so I'm just basically recording myself inserting I do not want this to stay selected so I'm just gonna put my uh, make sure that a1 is selected when the macro is done so now, all I need to do is press the stop button. There's two ways that we can attach that macro to a button. We can use the command button. If, if you want access to the command button, you need the developer tab. Uh, to get this tab, go to Excel and Preferences, File, Excel options if you're on a Windows machine. Then go to Ribbon Toolbar and under Main Tabs you'll find the Developer tab right here. Just click its box to make it available and press Save. Now that you have the Developer tab you can insert a command button. So all I did was click the command button, clicked in a cell. In Windows you would actually have to trace the button to get this window to appear. So by selecting insert column, I'm attaching the macro that we recorded to the button, pressing OK, and then once I deselect the button by clicking in a cell, the button's activated. So there we go. We can add as many cells as we want, or add as many columns as we want now with the button. So if you don't want to use a the button that we added um, the command button from the developer tab another option is to use a shape so you can find shapes right here you could actually use a photo or even an icon I'm just gonna drop oh I'm gonna try to drop a rectangle in there And I have no idea. Oh, must have been frozen. So the shape will work exactly like the button. So just like the button, when you right click on the shape, so I'm in the button now, you can assign this to a macro. Buttons are the same. Assign to a macro. I'm going to assign insert column macro, OK. So every time I click the shape, our columns appear. And then we can actually, actually just click into the shape and put some text in there to say what it does. You can do the same with the macro, except you have to actually select it first. And that's it. Hope that's beneficial for you. 
and I hope you all have a nice day. Thanks for watching.